Oh, no way. Then there's no. I'm looking at you, Jim. I'm gonna hear the name and I'm gonna get PTSD. But the cream runs to the top for oh, you. Yeah. Uh, now with the Stanley Cup Finals done, uh, we have finally reached the end of the NBC era. And as someone who has went from about 20 years old to 35. Going on 36, I spent a, uh, you know, the large portion of my so far adult years, or the vast majority of them, I should say, in the NBC era. And I, it wasn't the greatest coverage, but it wasn't the worst. And it came in at a time in which the NHL needed something. It needed some sort of good coverage. And you know what? At first, it was very shaky, but it evolved into something decent wasn't terrible and doc emmerich was a big reason as to why it wasn't terrible because it could have been uh far worse and yes outdoor life network is where it started from i re distinctly remember calling up uh optimum or cable vision at the time before it was really called optimum and was looked scrambling to try to get oln network and <laughs> got oln Outdoor Life Network on the very first night of the regular season, just in time to see Jason Strudwick score the very first goal of the salary cap era for the New York Rangers against the Philadelphia Flyers. Yarmir Yager would start the very first night of his <coughs> Rangers dominance in that game with two power play goals against the Philadelphia Flyers. Marcel Hosa would add one. Um, that the, the the Yager and Friends line was fun to watch, but I don't want to get too far off into the Rangers. But NBC's coverage, from what it started from to what it became, and the evolution of it, it actually came into something good. We started getting analysts involved, like Anson Carter and Keith Jones, and you know what? You say what you want about Mike Milbury, and it's a personality. I'm not really the biggest fan of him, but. You know, Jeremy Roenick was good for them before everything happened with him. And I, I personally, I liked MDC's coverage, but I'm glad we're going to ESPN. But there's a lot of memories that we had. And as Ranger fans, you witnessed the rebirth of a team, of a franchise under, you know, the MBC banner. I mean, this team was a competitor for nearly the entirety of the MBC era. So, I mean, you had the great calls like the, the Derek step out goal. In this game, both teams. Off the tie-up, it is fair, but it came back to Yandel. Drive by Girardi in a save. Come on, it's And Doc Emmerich's amazing call on that. I mean, the, the, the Henrik Lunk was saving against Montreal in game six. his stick hits it with a blocker keep yeah i mean I, I was i was there for that i know mark was there for that as well uh game four marty san luis overtime winner follow up from markov very careful trying to play it a second time can't do it here's san luis moving in yeah! um, the rangers run to the eastern conference finals in 2012 I mean, so many very, very good to great moments happened under the NBC banner for the New York Rangers. And I know a lot of teams have, you know, Pittsburgh Penguins fans have, you know, a lot of good memories. LA Kings fans, Chicago Blackhawks fans. I mean, I think all across the board, there's a lot of good memories to be had during this time. Um, but I'm definitely looking forward to hearing that ESPN National Hockey Night theme again, because... If that doesn't give you goosebumps, you know, heading into hockey season, I think you might not have a pulse. I think you might want to go check yourself into a hospital if you can, because you might be dead otherwise. And, yeah, I, I, I loved what I saw from NBC during their final years. It was definitely a work in progress. They got to be a good product after a while. There's going to be some names that are going to be coming over to ESPN. And I, I think there's a lot of good to be had to take away from this era but 
all looking forward to the new ESPN era and TNT and some of the guys that they have forward there like Wayne Gretzky and Mark Messier that are involved in their coverage on their respective channels. So, guys, I I know that you guys probably have some good memories of the, uh, the NBC era yourself. Anthony, I know you saw the Islanders come back to be a competitor as well. Mark, you're right, right with me in the Ranger train. Your thoughts? Um, well, first, let me give you this one from Chris because I know you want to uh, hear this. It's unfortunate that ESPN didn't rehire Gary Thorne. And again, speaking about your favorites on that one. Yeah, um, definitely. I, I could think about there's there's a lot. I actually thought NBC had pretty good coverage, uh, especially when they put all the NHL playoff games on all the different networks. Uh, that was fantastic. Uh, fans didn't have to scramble. We didn't have to look around. It wasn't like 1990 all over again going, oh, I wonder what's happening here, what's happening here. Um, the uh, Later that year, you were talking about the first season, uh, that was Yager Yager scored the goal that broke Graves' record for most goals in a season. He did it against the Boston Bruins. Yeah. Uh, that was late in the season. Um, there were so many great games on NBC. <laughs> Brad Richards' goal um, it always comes to mind as well because uh, that was with 6.6 6 seconds left to go. Uh, that's sort of different with our, our 7.7 .7 with Zella Pukin and uh, Drury. But um, there's uh, there's a lot of gr uh, great stuff that came from it. All the coverage of Mike Emmerich, who really just brought the game to life. And the great thing is I've, I'm one that actually probably remembers three different networks that were covering the NHL when it was ABC slash ESPN, Fox, uh, coming in and Fox started out unique and then uh, the last year they basically just didn't care they, they knew that they, it was going to ESPN and then um, uh, then going over to NBC and NBC I thought did a great job they gave it their all they did a lot of extra content uh, for the for the games and now now it's gone and now um, ESPN, I hope they're going to be good, but I hope TNT is going to be what Fox was back then. I hope they're going to bring it and bring it. There's a lot more fun. Anthony? Yeah, you know, um, the last year ESPN had the NHL was uh, 03 04. Um, that, that finals, Calgary and Tampa Bay was last year. They telecast hockey. And then there was the, the black eye of hockey. The next season was just totally locked out and that hurt the sport. So, you know what? Um, OLN took on the aisle, took on hockey, um, you know, and eventually turned into Versus, and then Versus got bought by NBC Sports, um, and NBC Sports did right by the NHL. You know, they, they did a good job. They, I think they really helped bring, you know, get, finally recover from that whole year they missed. Um, you know, they're prevalent. They showed those Saturday, Sunday afternoon games on primetime NBC. Um, so I thought they did a really good job of hockey. They had some good personalities in there. Um, you know, like Jeremy Roenick was there for a while, Milbury, um, you know, uh, Catherine Tappen, I thought did a really good job on NBC sports as the kind of like host alongside Lee and McHugh. Um, you know, I thought they were good, well-spoken, um, their presentation. I mean, all those winter classics every new year's day and, um, you know, their, their telecast of of playoff hockey or in the first round you literally could watch every single game on their family networks you could turn on cnbc and watch a game uh you could turn on you know um uh usa watch a game and so they, they, they did a really good job bringing hockey to the fans and um you know end of an era uh, like john said um but now i'm excited to get back to espn because espn is still the number one sports network in the country uh, so hopefully this should be good for the viewership and, and you know, really put hockey back on the map. But, um, yeah, I, I, I thought they did a fabulous job. Um, you know, they could have been in a real bad spot coming out of that lockout, and uh, they got through it, and that's large thanks to uh, NBC Sports and stuff. So, um, you know, sad to see them go, but I'm happy to uh, ESPN uh, to get started. And that soon, the, the ESPN2 is uh, telecasting the expansion draft, so I'm excited to see their format and, you know, their layout and their presentation. It's an exciting time. 
I just gotta address this comment from David and say it's um you know what? Uh Alex Martinez earned that. I hate it. That was a great call by Emmerich. Um I wish it didn't happen. I wish I could burn it from my memory, but I'll give him credit on that. I'd rather hear that than in the twenty fifteen World Series. The Royals were ninety feet away from tying the game. Like, oh shut the hell up, Joe Buck. And I I mean I even like Joe Buck, but sometimes those things uh, but yes, Barry Melrose coming back is going to be great. John, back to you. Yeah, uh, it's just it, it, it's it's kind of surreal that this is ending because you just you think about it. The last sixteen years of our lives were spent watching their coverage, mm-hmm. and it's like like I said, it's a it's a big part of our adulthood. Anthony and I are, are separated by six months. Um, Mark, your 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 few years on us, but. It, it you got to think of it though it's it's the majority of your adulthood that's taken up by by their coverage and there are a lot of good memories from it but you know what i'm definitely looking forward to hearing that you know but like the comment said before gary thorne you need gary thorne there they have to have him in some sort of way yeah or bill clement sometimes um <laughs> again and it's nothing against steve levy or some of the other play-by-play play guys that they got, but I mean, you know, you're not going to have obviously your your John Saunders and your Dave Straters, who were two of the most underrated personalities on ESPN hockey telecasts. I, I think they were they were key guys. Steve Levy is very good, but John Saunders was great. You know, rest, yeah. rest his soul. And the same for Dave Strader. I, I know both of them are still missed by so many people in the hockey world, myself included. So. I mean, bringing back Gary Thorne would have been so key for them. I'm happy that Ray Ferraro, John Butcher Gross, and and Barry Melrose, the NHL Tonight crew, are going to be there. I hope NHL Tonight comes back because that would be clutch for them. Yeah. I mean, Butcher Gross alone is, and, and him and Linda Cohen are, are going to be, they're, they're worth their, their price of admission. So, they're, yeah. they are treasures. So, uh, what do you think about your memories of the uh, the NBC era with hockey? I mean, they really kind of gave it their all, by the way, because that was all they had. I mean, they they didn't have any baseball, they didn't have any uh, basketball. Two. So wait, wait. As we got this, but wait. Thorn over Doc. Uh, for my favorites, yes. For <laughs> actual, um. Well, let me tell you right now, Doc was a Flyers guy before he was a Devils guy. So, yeah. He uh, actually called the uh, playoff goal that uh, that Hextall scored. Yeah. So, But um, <clears throat> in terms of an actual analyst and play-by-play guy, there's nobody that's been better at it than Doc Emmerich. But Gary Thorne's just always going to have just a special place for me because I, I grew up on Gary Thorne's calls. Yeah, um, that's a great question. Is, is who's doing the draft? Does anybody know? I think oh the uh, the the expansion draft. Yeah, no the uh, the NHL draft. I think I think ESPN or or NHL. It has to be there. ESPN might be doing it. I'm not. Sure. Yeah, I know they're doing. I definitely know they're broadcasting the expansion draft. I'm not sure about the entry draft. Yeah, I gotta I gotta take. Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't think NHL tonight will be. No, I, 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 I don't think that has any anything to do with it, really. No, I think they they don't even do uh, um, like NBA tonight or I, I haven't seen baseball tonight in years, so uh, they kind of just stopped doing that as soon as all these other things. Uh, Anthony, really quick before we, I do the sign off again, um, uh, Emmerich or Thorne, Doc. Yeah, I gotta go, Doc too, and. I, I had the pleasure of having Gary Thorne do Mets games too, so, um, so what do you guys think? What was your favorite memories from the NBC era? I know what uh, if you're a Ranger fan. What was your least favorite memory from the NBC era? Um, Jesus Christ, we have two of them. We really do because it's that and Henrique. Yep. Uh, it's still, and again, I think I can accept the um. The Martinez goal more than the Henrique goal. Yeah, because they got to the finals and it wasn't against a team like the Devils who were a long-time rival. Yeah, 
And on top of it, also that same kind of thing that Anthony's feeling right now. Oh, we would have beat LA was was what I was thinking. But you know, just like Anthony, I would be wrong. So, uh, <laughs> Anthony. Uh, so by the way, so uh, what's your what's your thoughts on the end, end of the NBC era? We're cutting it right there. Uh, that's my third sign off on that one. If you like that video, we got a lot more. So check out any of these that are right over here. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Your ideas are intriguing to me, and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter.